The wonderful enigmatic world of shortwave radio is under threat. Shortwave radio has amazing properties allowing worldwide communications. It's been in use since Marconi made his first transmissions. Many millions of people tune in to shortwave radio every day to hear broadcasts from the USA, Russia, China, Canada, the UK and a host of other world locations. It is also used by radio amateurs who communicate with each other over vast distances and at times of national emergency it acts as a backup communications network which is vital to us all. It is a way of life for many who may be housebound, those who wish to keep in touch with events from their home country or who enjoy learning about language and traditions from other countries. Shortwave radio frequencies sit between the top of medium wave radio and the bottom of the FM broadcast band. Shortwave is also inhabited by the military, aircraft, shipping, air sea rescue and a host of other essential services who are all licensed to use the frequency band. Then came power line adapters. These gadgets have nothing to do with getting people online with computers. They are used to transfer video and data from one room to the next without any direct connection. They do this by sending wideband shortwave radio signals along the electricity power cables of your house. As these power cables were not designed for radio signals, they act as aerials radiating the output of the power line adapters far and wide outside of the house. Interference of up to 500 metres has been reported. This is where the problem lies. Just one house using these adapters wipes out the reception of shortwave radio in your local neighbourhood. Even NATO has published concerns about these devices, and yet they are streaming onto the market here in the UK. If one examines the regulations, Electromagnetic Compatibility and Wireless and Telegraphy Act 2006, these power line adapters seemingly should not be in use, as there is no way they can meet the required standards. So what is the EU and UK government doing about this? Seemingly nothing. UKQRM is a non-profit users group, working with many other radio groups to defend shortwave radio.